Oh, we got to do a random rush. Let's do it. Uh, let me we see if time. I can get this up. Hopefully he is um, he is on air. I don't know if that's the case. I think he, he will be. You think he will be right now? Yes. Let's get this thing fired up. All right, folks. You know the deal. Random Rush. I listen to Rush Limbaugh. At 1-800-957-GOLD. Oh, Don't wait. This <laughs> offer is limited. Buy 20 Polar Bear Coins and get one free. Oh, I can get Call 1-800-957-4653. That's 800-957-4653. this is a prime example of how uh, Rush Limbaugh is hurting. Gold. When they got to go to the when gold, we folks. talk about music and hospice care, really we... Think about music in a way as a kind of medicine. Chris O'Connell is a hospice musician. <laughs> We're soothing spiritual wow. emotional distress. It can even... What? Wow, wow. There you go. All right, folks, it's time for Random Rush. You know the deal. I listen to Rush Limbaugh for 60 seconds. I respond to him. 90 seconds. It's 1.27 p.m. on the East Coast. Let's see if he's on. A pretty odd thing that three days later, we end up putting out all the information... That, in fact, has now served as the basis for everybody recognizing that this was a terrorist attack. Who executes some sort of cover-up or effort to tamp things down? All right, stop the tape. So he wants you to believe that three days later, he and his administration told everybody, hey, this is a terror attack. Seven days later... Susan Rice is on five TV shows, not calling it a terror attack, denying it, blaming it on the video. Why did Obama go to the United Nations two weeks later and blame the video? In that video or audio clip that we just played, you just heard Obama say he laid everything out three days later. It was a terror attack. And we're the ones that told you it was. My administration told you it was a terror attack. All right, folks. So Limbaugh, in maybe a surprise move, although it's a, he's got a three-hour show, is talking Benghazi when the IRS has been served up to him now as well. Now, here's the thing. President Obama did come out three days later or even, I think, a day or two later and say this was a terrorist attack. And they walked it back after that, which I think is prime indication that they didn't know exactly what was going on there. And yes, it was a coincidence that there was also these massive protests, or not massive, but maybe a thousand people in uh, Egypt over that video. So there was clearly confusion. But let's say they did walk it back, because even though they were 100% sure that it was some Al-Qaeda-affiliated group that was dealing with a, uh, that, that led this attack. And they were hiding this because they knew Benghazi, even though there was like 13 attacks during the Bush administration on embassies, that this is what the linchpin of the 2012 election was going to rest on. And then subsequently they revealed that there was members of an al-Qaeda affiliated. Okay, and... And what? We were lied into a war, an invasion and occupation that lasted 10 years, killed over 100,000, maybe 200,000, who knows how many hundreds of thousands innocent Iraqis. And never mind thousands of U.S. servicemen and cost trillions of dollars. What exactly is going to happen here? But... This is how Limbaugh gets his, well, maybe high ratings, but not so much advertising revenues.